Well, good morning. Is running fun? And maybe more importantly, when does it get fun if it can be fun? Well, you probably know how I'm gonna answer, right? Yeah, I think running's fun. Rarely do I have a run where I can't find some fun in it. But why is that, right? And if you're wanting to get into running, if you're wanting to run a marathon, if you're wanting to do these hard things, does it have to be fun? Do you have to enjoy it? Or should we maybe massage what we mean when we say fun and enjoyment? I got some thoughts. Now, it may not mean much coming from me, whose idea of fun is slightly skewed from what I've been told. This is the guy who one summer decided it would be a fun idea to take a calculus two course after having graduated. That led into quite the rabbit hole, but it was a lot of fun because, and perhaps solely because of the challenge it posed. So for me, the challenge is part of the fun. The action is the juice. Well, you know, for me, the action is the juice. I'm in. I'm pretty well convinced that there's something to this gamification stuff. By that I mean making, out of whatever you're doing, a game. Points, accomplishments, achievements, whatever you want to call it. I'll tell you a story. Firewater 100k. And it's about to get dark up here, so I'll tell it to you in just a sec. So. Firewater 100K, one of my fun races in the fall each year, November. I think I've done it three times now. Registered to do it again this year, two years ago, and a little bit last year. Experienced at about 40 miles, so with 20 plus to go, experienced a little breakdown. Not mentally, but physically. For most of the last 15, had to walk it in. That makes for a long walk, let me tell you. So, those are the moments where I'm really kind of swearing it off. This is stupid, this is not fun. I wanna go home. <laughs> I'm ready to eat supper and not trail food. But, here's what happens. Next day, a couple days later, after finishing, there's the important part, fighting through and finishing. After finishing, it's like looking back at all the challenge of it, looking at it from a different perspective, under a different light, it becomes a challenge to get stronger, to get better, and like hear me out not to win any awards i mean the closest i've got to the podium picked up third place i think last year or, the, or this year earlier this year at a uh at another 100k actually not on the trails but no it's i'm not driven by the podium and that'd be great that's fun it's more about personal development, doing hard things, as cliche as that is, you know? I find a lot of joy in that. Maybe that's a level higher than fun. All right, let me tell you about training in Mississippi, and then I'll tell you what we're doing this morning and why they're both fun. Mississippi is a brutal place to run. It's flat, sometimes fast, However, the 110 plus heat index and stifling humidity make it feel like you're skating through a cloud with a wind sail on your back. But I remember a pivotal day. I was living over in the, what was it, Eastover area, the leftover side of things. And I just started running again 
I was still a cigarette smoker at that time, guys. Not cool. Sunrise for the win. And decided, you know, I really should probably not be smoking and should be running, exercising something. Well, shortly after I began these mile, two mile, three mile stints through the neighborhood, I got through with one run and was walking into the driveway. It was probably three or four miles. And I had the thought, you know, I wonder if I could do that again. And I went back out and did it again. Ended up being about seven total. That was the beginning of me really having fun with this. Not because it was inherently enjoyable, but because the challenge was exactly that. Well, if you've been watching the channel, you know where we are. It's speed day at the park with the sunrise that's joined us for the last couple miles. Today we're doing something a little bit different. This is new for me and hence a new challenge and a new flavor of fun. We're doing mile repeats. Yeah, it's as fun as it sounds. So two miles to get here, nice, easy, nine minute pace. And then six sets of mile repeats with a 400 meter cool down of which this is the fifth in between. Trying to hold a 630 pace. We'll see how I did. I think I hit it on at least three of the five so far. But, you know, I may be surprised well, when we see the footage. The Strava, which you can check out. I got the Strava link below if you ever want to fact check me on this stuff. Uh, okay, we're at the countdown. We got 7.07 .07 miles, which will be right around this corner. And then we got the last mile. The last mile. Oh, we're going to see what we got. Maybe we can dip down into 620 territory. I think I got it. This heat is getting pretty strenuous though. Uh, there's the watch beeping. Oh dear, here we go, here we go. You know, I could just film it for a second. It just went off. This is about the pace that I've been going at. I am not gonna be able to hold this up the whole time. In fact, I'm not gonna hold it up very long at all. Just to show you that to actually get the workout in, you cannot be at a pace where you can talk. And that's all I got left, here we go. Okay, that's a wrap. I'd be very surprised if that was not my fastest lap, fastest mile of the morning, which is encouraging and exactly what we're talking about today. This could have been something I dreaded, never done before, about 11 miles total workout, two and cool warm up, two and cool down, a blazing six in the muggy air. But you know what? It was quite the challenge. Glad to have you along for the ride. I hope that you'll give running a chance. I hope that you will reframe your perspective on the long runs, especially you marathoners out there, aspiring marathoners. Get out there and just start. And then when the day comes where you finish a workout, a run, and you're feeling good, maybe you're feeling bad, but you have a thought that, hey, I got more in the tank. Go right back out and hit it again. See if you don't surprise yourself. Click that little like button, subscribe to the channel. I've got a three hour a marathon attempt, sub three hour, that is September 1st. Today is July 9th, I think. Countdown is getting slim. Can't wait. Thanks for being along for the ride.